Chris Bassett here, and I'm going to rotate the tires on my Ranger today. Um, I'll put a list of all the tools I used on screen and in the description. Um, if you notice that your tires are making noise, they're vibrating, maybe it's time to do a tire rotation. Let's get into it. You want to rotate your tires about every three to 5,000 miles. That way they can wear evenly and it will improve the life of your tires. Before I lift the vehicle into the air, I break all the lug nuts loose. It's safer that way. Make sure you do all four tires. Once that's done, I like to jack up the rear of the vehicle first. Uh, place the jack underneath the differential. Go ahead and jack the vehicle up. When the tires are off the ground, go ahead and put your jack stands underneath on the axle. Everything's in position. Get ready to lower the vehicle back onto the jacks. Turn the screw counterclockwise, lower the vehicle slowly. Let's jack up the front of the vehicle. Position the jack midway between the two front tires. You'll see an indention, and that's where you want to hit. Jack the tires off the ground. A 16 inch jack stand is just barely enough. Position the stands on these L-shaped brackets. Go ahead and take all your lug nuts off and then store them in a place where they won't get damaged or lost. Here are the tire rotation patterns. I use uh, number one, the rear cross for my Ford Ranger. Go ahead and pull your tires off. I check my tires over for damage and tread wear. Rotate your tires around and then go ahead and get them into position to be put back on. Uh, as you go to put them on, just be careful you don't damage the lug studs. If you ding the threads up bad enough, you may have to replace them. I clean the studs up, wipe all the gunk out of them before I put the lug nuts back on. I put all the lug nuts on hand tight. Shake the tire back and forth so that you can get it as snug as possible before you put a wrench on it. Lower the vehicle back to the ground and remove all four jack stands. Now, go back through each tire and tighten all the lug nuts with a wrench as tight as you can get it. You want to tighten the nuts in a star-shaped pattern. This is important so that the wheel fits flush. Here, I'm using my legs to drive the wrench to tighten the nuts. You can apply more force than with just your arms. And now that you've put all four tires on and double check that all the lug nuts are tight, you want to take the tire pressure and you want to check that. Typically, most vehicles, a good tire pressure is around 30 PSI. Tires will be stamped with the maximum PSI. You can see these are rated for 50. If you open up your driver's side door, there should be a sticker that has a lot of the information about your vehicle on it. My tires should be 30 when they're cold. If you do need to fill your tires up with air, most gas stations have a self-serve compressor that you can use to fill up your tires. Hit the like button if that was useful, and subscribe for more. Thanks.